welcome to the presentation um, of the Stadler Flirt Hydrogen for the San Bernardino County Transport Authority, short SBCTA. We uh, do this in the rain, as you obviously have uh, seen, um, and that's uh, not so bad because uh, what is the product of uh, uh, actual hydrogen fuel cell? It is electricity and water. So hydrogen technology is always very close to the water. We have rain today. Um, that's uh, a good coincidence. Now, before we start, let me say a warm welcome to our customer representatives, Mr. Chad Edison in the background, uh, Deputy Secretary uh, for Transportation of the Californian State Transit Authority, Mr. Art Bishop, President of the Board of Directors um, of SPCTA, um, and Dr. Raymond Wolf, um, Executive Director of SPCTA. Now today is a great day for us at Stadler. We have the opportunity here to present the first hydrogen passenger train that is going to be operated in the United States of America. This train is the first of its kind, but it's not a prototype, it's a serious train. We have painted it, you see that from outside in this Al Koenig livery, um, to see, uh, for everybody to see that this is the train uh, that really has something special. You may ask what is so special about this train and some people might even say that hydrogen trains are already in operation in Europe. One train has set a world record uh, for hydrogen technology in the last week. So you may ask what is so special about this train? Is it just another hydrogen train? The special thing about this train and the major innovation is not the hydrogen technology itself. Hydrogen propulsion is available, you can buy it from the market. Um, hydrogen tanks, fuel cells are available on the market and basically all rolling stock manufacturers are using the same suppliers. So the technology itself is not what is special about this train. So the special thing about this train <coughs> is not the technology itself, it's the application of the technology. And this application, and you may say the application in a typical Stadler way, this is what makes the train so special. So firstly, this application is for the United States. The United States has the largest railway network of the world. The US have been growing on rails. Uh, but on the other hand, only 1% of the large network of more than 200,000 kilometers is electrified. So this is why hydrogen is the right technology for the US, because most of the lines are longer than the typical range of a battery train. And at Stadler, we always want to apply the right technology to the right ambient conditions and to the right market. The second example is, <clears throat> this is an application for the state of California, with its special ambient and climate conditions. Under these conditions, powering the traction unit of the train is sometimes a smaller challenge than powering the HVAC unit. Um, and all the power for this train is, of course, coming from the hydrogen. Then uh, the third example is, this is again a modular application of our FLIRT time EM type EMU technology. So what you see here is basically two end cars, and you are staying in uh, one of these two end cars here, um, of a classical electrical flirt multiple unit train. These end cars here contain the traction converters, contain the traction batteries, the traction motors, and they would also be able to go with a pantograph if there would be a wire. The fourth example is uh, we have another application of the modular power car concept in the FLIRT and uh, the power car is uh, the car that is located between the two end cars. Um, and this power car actually contains all the hydrogen related equipment. So the hydrogen tanks, the fuel cell, the piping, the valves. So there is no hydrogen in the rest of the train. There is no hydrogen above the passengers. There is no hydrogen below the passengers. The hydrogen is completely separated from the passenger compartments and that's also special about um, this train. So the hydrogen is placed in the safest part of the train which is in the middle. Uh, summarizing, I would like to say that um, this train is a standard flirt that applies hydrogen technology for the first time 
for the US market. And the way of the application of this technology is what makes this train so special and that what makes it suitable for the US application and uh, what makes it different from other hydrogen trains on the market. Thank you very much. I'm representing San Bernardino Transportation Authority in a region of California that is desperate for cleaner, quieter, and more efficient transit options. And today is a great day for my organization and for the state of California. We at San Bernardino County Transportation Authority could not be more proud to be part of this great team that will introduce innovative situations, solutions for both the current generation and even more important generations, so many generations to come in our area. I applaud Dr. Brock, Dr. Brockmeyer and the entire Stadler staff for the great job they have done. This team, their ability to respond to our vision in San Bernardino County and hope that this will just be the beginning of a transit renaissance, not just for San Bernardino County, not just for the state of California, but for the United States of America. Thank you very much. And uh, thank you all of you that have joined us here. Some of you are out in the rain and I'll try and keep my comments brief, but this is truly an exciting day. And I wanna thank Stadler for their leadership in bringing this day to reality. So as we look to meet mobility needs, not just in San Bernardino County where I'm focused, but throughout the world, I think you'll all agree that we need to be better stewards of the environment. We need to pay attention to social justice issues to make sure that the investments that we are making meet the needs of all of the people within our communities. Innovation has been the centerpiece for us in San Bernardino County as we look to meet these needs. We understand that the transportation world is changing and changing rapidly before our eyes. And so recognizing the severe air quality concerns that we have in our communities, we looked to hydrogen to help solve some of those problems. As Dr. Brockmeyer mentioned earlier, this is truly transformational in the United States. We don't have a lot of electrification and we're not going to be able to completely electrify our railroads. And so this is the solution that will bring a greener transportation to the United States and hopefully throughout other portions of the world. It's truly an exciting day. So in closing, I just wanna say again, thank you to Stadler I want to say thank you to all of the team that was assembled, the consultants that worked for us, Kerry Schindler, who's in the audience here, Momoko Tamako, who's also in the audience. I just want to say thank you because it really took a team effort and what an incredible day. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you so much. Um, I happen to be fortunate to work for the agency that, that, that has money to invest in, in, uh, in, in innovative solutions like this. And here today, we're working with both a company that's very innovative and a, and a small transit authority, which is very innovative. Um, and and uh, back in 2017, my agency was given the idea from San Bernardino that they could make not just diesel, diesel trains run in this corridor, but zero emission trains run in this corridor. And we were really excited to get that application for funding. And in 2018, we provided the money for this project. To be making the decision to do this train in 2018 and then to have it here four years later is really remarkable because there were many decisions still to be made. One of the things that we focused on as we were getting into the project at the beginning was whether we could design this train to not just serve the corridor that it was being operated in, but also to think about the future. And we decided that we wanted a design on this train that could also work for longer distance inner city services with more cars on the train. And so one of the things that, that San Bernardino and Stradler did with us during this project was to think about that design for a larger train that could run longer distance. We're very proud of the train we have here today, and we know that the, 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 the significance of this train goes far beyond this initial corridor. As this train operates, it will both provide clean emissions next to the, ne next to the corridor and all the communities it goes through, and it also will help improve air quality in the entire region. So this is just the beginning, and we're very thankful to have this first train, but we also, as we, as we go down our mission to increase ridership and reduce g greenhouse gas emissions in California, we, we see many more people riding on more trains like this in the future. 
Congratulations to Stadler and San Bernardino County for this training.